This program, it's still very much in its infancy. It's about two years old and it consists primarily of wine barrels and uh, bourbon barrels. We've done a fair amount of experimentation with different yeast strains, different bacterias, and so we're actually really learning what each of the microbes do, just so that we have a, a real understanding of it. As we built up this barrel program, we started small. As we grew, we kept folding our barrel program back onto itself. That's what you do in wild beers, sour beers, is you build your culture and really start to kind of grow that and multiply that. Right now, we're up to 10 barrels in the blend, which were a specific beer that we blended all into one type of barrel, all one type of yeast, and they all turned out to be a nice cohesive beer in the end. The unique thing with having a huge barrel program is we require a lot more square footage as a brewery versus a more of a conventional brewery that just has fermenters. We've got over you know a thousand barrels by volume in oak right now aging, many of which are ready to come out and many of which won't be out for you know a year or two. That first year, uh, 2010 at GABF, six out of our ten beers were barrel aged sour beers. It got us you know noticed very quickly. That starts giving us the justification to actually start the whole production brewery. Like any brewing process, there's a science to it and there's an art to it. A lot of it is just so much sensory analysis and just pulling nails and just seeing whether it has character to it that we're looking for or whether it's going to need to sit for another six months or so. How do I make my bourbon barrel aged beer, my wild beer, better than everybody else's? It's how do I treat it? Do I have my beer in a constant temperature or is it a varied temperature? How long do I age it? What type of barrel? What type of beer? This is a lot of experimentation. The beers that we're really happy with, we focus on those positive aspects and, and build upon that. FOBAB's kind of the pinnacle for what brewers love to do. We want to put our beers up there against the best. If it's a blind panel and people taste it and they think it's better, well then good on me. You know, if not, well then I've got some work to do. All we have to do is deliver the kegs, and then we just go, and we are a participant, you know? We're not selling anything. We're there to enjoy, and you're enjoying some of the best beers in the world. That's where that healthy competition and just camaraderie comes from. I mean, you're kind of in this barrel-aged fraternity, if you will, of other breweries that have had some established programs for quite some time, and those that are just starting their programs and are wondering how to grow theirs. It is about the artistry, and it's a great thing I think that Eleanor Craft Brewers Guild can be proud of having organized and having grown to the stature that it truly is. Really